Welcome to the October 7th, 2011 edition of Inside Rensselaer, keeping you up to date about the people, programs, and events at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. The Pillar of Rensselaer Award is presented annually to a staff member who understands the Institute's mission and history, has been a role model for other employees, has shown concern for students and their welfare, has added to the human dimension of the school, and who has played an active role in his or her home community. It's the highest honor Rensselaer gives to a staff member. This year, the Pillar Award was presented to Kevin Beatty, Associate Athletic Director for Communications and Compliance and a Rensselaer employee for 13 years. Bioseparations and bioprocessing expert Stephen Kramer, the William Whiteman Walker Professor of Polymer Engineering at Rensselaer, was recently elected a fellow of the American Institute of Chemical Engineers. The Institute commended Kramer for his wide-reaching research successes and for demonstrating significant accomplishments in and contributions to the profession of chemical engineering. In honor of one of Rensselaer's most accomplished, active, and loyal alumni, Clarence E. Davies 14, Rensselaer established the Davies Medal for Engineering Achievement in 1980 to recognize a Rensselaer alumnus with a distinguished career of engineering achievement, public service, and technical and managerial accomplishments. Renowned electrical engineer and digital camera inventor Stephen Sasson, 72, received the prestigious Davies Medal from the School of Engineering during a ceremony on September 22nd at the Center for Biotechnology and Interdisciplinary Studies. And the newest members of the Rensselaer Alumni Hall of Fame were inducted at a public ceremony at MPAC on September 23rd. More information about each of the inductees is at the Hall of Fame website, www.rpi.edu slash rahof. Leaders in academia, industry, and government will meet at Rensselaer next month to discuss strategies for leveraging the awesome power of supercomputers to drive growth, innovation, and competitive advantage for American companies. The discussions are part of a three-day national workshop held by the New York State High Performance Computing Consortium, taking place October 26th through the 28th. The Office of Alumni Relations will host Reunion and Homecoming, Rensselaer's largest alumni tradition, the weekend of October 21st through the 23rd. More than 3,000 alumni and guests are expected to return to campus to celebrate milestone class reunions, athletic team gatherings, Greek get-togethers, and other student group reunions. Events include a visit from IBM's Watson Computer, a performance by the Tyco Drummers, and traditional events like FanFest and Back to Class. Last month, Hurricane Irene and Tropical Storm Lee left extensive damage in the capital region, especially along creeks and riverbeds. In the aftermath, several communities have been trying to pick up the pieces while dealing with the impact of extreme flooding, rainfall, and power outages. To assist, a band of helpers from the Rensselaer campus has been engaged in ongoing volunteer efforts. Within days of the storm, more than 100 students, faculty, staff, alumni, student organizations, fraternities, and community members rolled up their sleeves to assist in a series of cleanup efforts. Volunteer efforts will continue throughout the fall semester. While the dog days of summer are fast becoming a distant memory, it's a good time to look back at the summer education experience that Rensselaer provided to individuals of all ages. This year, more than 1,300 elementary, middle, high school, and college students, along with working professionals and K-12 teachers, immersed themselves in credit courses, academic short courses, sports camps, and enrichment programs. Throughout the academic year and into the summer, the Dean of Students Office hosted several pre-college initiatives for K-12 students, including the ExxonMobil Bernard Harris Summer Science Camp, the Science and Technology Entry Program, the Rensselaer Preface Program, and the Harlem Academy. Human Resources recently hosted the 39th Annual Employee Service Recognition and Retirement Dinner at the Troy Hilton Garden Inn. Employees who have completed service in five-year increments were honored, as well as employees who retired during the last fiscal year. A list of this year's honorees is on the Inside Rensselaer website. The Rensselaer fraternity Sigma Alpha Epsilon hosted its annual Community Enrichment Dinner on September 14th. Faculty, staff, Greek life administrators, and neighbors were invited to participate in the occasion, an opportunity to link the brotherhood with community members and to make a positive impact on their lives. College Suites at City Station is now offering graduate student housing in Troy. Located on the southwestern corner of the Rensselaer campus, the new mixed-use development provides housing for 184 graduate students. And that's it for this issue of Inside Rensselaer. For these stories and more, go to www.rpi.edu slash about slash inside.